Okay. All right, let's, uh, let's get going with this. So what I want to deal with is talking about a variable, all right? So before we get started with all this stuff I'm about to get into, it's very essential that you understand the basics of what exactly a variable is. So all a variable is, is it's an unknown quantity, all right? And we use a lot of different things to represent variables. We use letters, we use symbols, um, and we can even get goofy with it. But all it pretty much we... All pretty much a variable is just an unknown quantity, something we don't know. How many, you know, logs does it take to build a house? Um, you know, things that what we're going to do is we're going to have our unknown quantity, quantity, which is going to be like kind of our unknown question, and then we're going to use mathematical properties to help us solve for that unknown quantity. So it's important when we're solving questions, you know, we have to know what that answer is, and we assign variables to them so we can work by using mathematics to solve them. So. You know, for an example, m variables can represent, you know, how much money I have, my lunch money right here, how much money, you know, you have or how much money you need or how much money you're going to earn. There's a lot of questions and a lot of um, things that we use for dealing with money. Also, maybe, you know, how many expo markers or how far am I going to run? So whenever we're thinking about an unknown quantity, you got to think a quantity is something that you can measure, right? It's going to be like distance or amount, you know, something that you can measure. That's what we're going to assign variables to. So we can use the alphabet like the letter A. We can use um, Greek letters like phi. This is a bad representation of phi, but this one's phi. But you can get goofy with it. We can do algebraic properties and use like the symbol of a, a roller skate, and it's still going to remain the same. So all the algebraic you know, properties that we're going to use are still going to remain true as long as you assign, hey, here's my variable. This is what I want my variable to represent. All right, so just think of, you know, variable. Don't try to get it confusing. We can use a lot of different representations, but just think it's just representing an unknown quantity, something we don't know. All right, so that's really about it that we're going to end with. So I'll see you guys next. Bye.